Good morning, City Slickers. Today, I've got another farming strategy that I wanted to share with you guys. So I've got the chickens over here by the compost pile, and I've got a whole lot of goodies that I'm gonna give them today. So inside of here, we've got corn on the cob from my neighbor. Um, well, not from my neighbor's garden, but my neighbor picked it out of a local person she knows out of his garden. But down there at the bottom, I don't know if you guys can really see that, those are rotten pears. I got those from a local restaurant in town where I actually live. So in my house right now, I'm not really cooking a lot of my own food because my AC doesn't work and we're going through a heat wave in Virginia right now, so I pretty much am eating like chicken salad, cold cuts, and going out to eat at various restaurants, you know, supporting small local businesses, a very base thing to do. And one of those small local businesses is starting to give me their food scraps. So, even though I'm spending a little bit more money by eating out at a restaurant, you know, so many, I don't know, financial advice people will tell you, oh, never eat out at a restaurant, it's a waste of money. Well, I'm getting free food for my animals. And even though I just have a small scale operation right now, it could get to the point where I'm actually spending more money on feed, you know, feeding my animals than I am feeding myself. Like some of the farmers that I watch on YouTube, like uh, So the Land, he gets pallets of chicken feed and, and feed for his animals. You know, he's got, uh, I think, pigs and, and sheep and a bunch of other stuff going on. So I'm starting that relationship with the restaurant and it could even turn out to be a profitable one one day if I can sell products from my farm back to them, right? So we're basically doing a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, kind of feed thing. So I'm gonna give these guys this stuff out of these buckets. I'll just throw these sh corn on the ground right now. I don't think they know how to get the shucks off because I don't really want to feed them all of this corn right now. throw that shucked piece over into the compost. They might pick at this silk a little bit. But this right here, this is what they really know about, okay? Like if we put this down, you see? They know about corn on the cob. So, throw a couple pieces over there into that compost pile. And they're just gonna be getting active in there. And then we'll also throw these pears on. Watch out guys. see if anyone goes for a pear. I seem more interested in the uh, corn right now, but that's okay. I'm gonna leave them out for a couple of hours so that they can really work on this stuff. They've got a gallon waterer here. So let's put that over here for them. And I've got a second bucket here. More of the same. Look at this stuff. It might need a little bit of uh, mashing for them to really be able to work on these pairs. So let me try that.
you know, whatever the chickens don't eat is just gonna rot and turn into good compost. Let's see if this is easier to do inside the bucket. All right, yeah, so this is pretty much some chunky mashed pears at this point. Chicken should be able to make quick work of this. It looks like Bard Rock's checking it out, but they're more interested in bugs and corn. <clears throat> but, you know, that's fine because this is going to attract bugs. I mean, if I come back to this in half an hour, it's probably going to be covered in flies. And the chickens will happily eat those flies. But let me just, uh, yeah, they're they're <laughs> they're playing some uh, beak cob, as one of you guys called it, and they're they're kind of missing the point a little bit. So let me help you guys out. And there we go, just like that, Mr. Blonde forgot about the corn and started eating the pears and then I got these guys these are four roosters over here fighting over a cob and you would go under a tree and make it more difficult for me to get to you all right let's cover that up and I think with the last piece is over here Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Go work the compost pile. All right, so there we go. Now that we're not distracted by corn anymore, we're working the pile a bit. This guy's trying to get into the feed bucket. They know that that's the feed bucket. But with all of this free and open source feed that they have, they might not even need that. I mean, maybe a scoop, you know, maybe a little scoop on top of the pile. But they've got all those pears, all those bugs that are living in the pile. And like I said, it's, it's just going to attract more bugs. I mean, look at this guy. He's picking the shovel clean. They love this stuff. And it's all free. All I had to do was get a couple of burgers at a restaurant somewhere. And I got two free buckets of chicken feed. Two free buckets of uh, pears. You honestly can't beat that. It's a peer-to-peer -peer Sneed thing that we're doing here at the base farm. 